guys! So today I'm filming a grocery store haul. I went to Target and Tops when I was down in Buffalo over the weekend. So I wanted to show you guys what I picked up. This one will probably only interest my Canadian viewers because, like me, you probably get excited when you see food in another country that you can't access in your homeland. So I'm going to start with Tops, I guess. I don't actually have that much from Tops. Um, we just kind of went there a, kind of like on the last minute on the way home. But I did pick up these Fiber One Caramel Delight uh, cereal. And this one, it has 9 grams of fiber and 3 grams of protein, 80% of your iron. I have really low iron, so stuff like this is really good for me where I can find something that has like a lot of iron in it. Um, so I picked up this one. This is good for breakfast or even I like putting these in little baggies and having them for a snack. Then I had to get the multigrain peanut butter Cheerios because um, Catherine had brought these back for me last time she went to Buffalo and they are so freaking good and we cannot get these in Canada. Oh god, it's probably good because if we had, like last time I ate the box, honestly don't tell anyone, I ate the whole box in like three days. Like I was eating it for like, I was just eating it for like snack, like throughout the day I'd be like, oh I really want to bowl that cereal. So this time I'm going to have to be better and like pace myself on this and just like eat it as, as like a meal and not just eat it because I'm gluttonous. Um, from Tops I also got two cases of Coke Zero cherry flavored which we don't have in Canada as well as um, International Delights Cinnabon coffee creamer which oh, looks so good which we also don't have. Then at Target got a lot of stuff. Um, I kind of just went crazy like throwing things in my buggy. I got these Better Oats muffin, old fashioned style oats with flax and blueberry muffin. And I got these last time I went to Buffalo and they're so good. They taste exactly like a blueberry muffin. And they are pretty good for you. They have 160 calories, 2.5 grams of fat, um, 4, grams of fiber, um, 4 grams of protein, and they're made with whole grain. So these are really good. And it tastes like you're eating a blueberry muffin for breakfast. Then I got, I got a lot of coffee, you guys. I don't even really know why. I just saw Dunkin' Donuts coffee and I like flipped like my lid when I was there. So I got, I want to make this, like if it wasn't already late in the day, I would make this. Maybe I will make it anyway. Um, I got the strawberry shortcake coffee and I feel like this could either be delicious or absolutely disgusting. So I'm hoping it's actually delicious because it looks so good and it smells so good. So I got this one and I got the toasted almond because I always like getting the toasted almond iced coffee when I am in the States. Oh my god. So yeah, I got this one too. So I'm excited to have these and hopefully this will help me maybe kick my Starbucks problem because I purchased Starbucks coffee like it was going out of style. So that, this could hopefully save me some money. They had little 99 cent bags of um, the Archer Farms uh, coffee and this one I got in hazelnut, sweet cream, and it's sweet cream and toasted hazelnut. So I want to try that. It's got a little bag. And I got a little bag of the cinnamon vanilla nut, warm and nutty with cinnamon spice. These look really good. Um, so yeah, then I got the Fiber One chocolate peanut butter brownies, which I've gotten. I got these last time I went, and they're really, really good. If you want, like, a chocolate fix, they're 90 calories, and they have 5 grams of fiber in there. Then, these are not healthy. Um, they look so delicious. I got the Pecan Sticky Bun Granola, and these are fairly high in calories, um, but they have 5 grams of protein. Um, and they're whole grain, so I thought this would be good over um, like yogurt or something. And then I got the um, chocolate chunk hazelnut biscotti flavor too. Um, but obviously, like I wouldn't use a whole, like for the whole package. Oh, is this not the whole pack? Yeah, it is. For the whole pack, this is 250 calories. So I'd probably split this up over three um, servings, so that way it's not that many calories. Just put this on yogurt or something. I want to try those out. They look really good. I got one of these. Um, these are the Healthy Choices Lunch Express Rotini and Zesty Marinara. Um, I got these last time. They were really, really good. It comes with the sauce as well as the pasta in the bottom. You just put it in the microwave and you're good to go. 
They are 290 calories, 3 grams of fat, 7 grams of fiber, and 10 grams of protein. So really healthy. And these are really cheap. They're on sale for $1.89. Then I got this. I hope this is good because it seemed really good in the photo um, on the box. It's the apple pear naturally sweetened drink mix. So I guess this is kind of like um, crystal light. Um, but it doesn't have artificial sweeteners, which I like. So it's apple pear drink. Um, yeah. I don't know what, where I was going with this. But it also has, um, I think what I want to say was it also has like nutrients in it. Um, as opposed to the crystal light, which is just like straight up aspartame. Um, but yeah, so hopefully this is good. Sometimes I have a hard time drinking water. So this will be a good way for me to like get some flavor in there. Or I'll want like something sweet after lunch, like a can of diet pop but I don't like drinking too much diet pop because it's not good for you so I think this would be a good alternative to that as well so I'm throw these out of the way the last bag I got I'm super excited for these Captain Crunch Crunch Berries um, snacks so it's 60 calories and you get like a whole bag little bag of Captain Crunch and this will be like such a delicious snack because I love Captain Crunch oh there's chocolate Captain Crunch yeah, I don't know why. I, always, I just love Captain Crunch. Then I got these Fiber One. Well, these look good. Chocolate chip cookies. And they're like the brownies. Same 90 calories. Um, and this one has 5 grams of fiber. And I got these to make for breakfast. Because I have a hard time. Because um, I eat my breakfast and lunch at work during the week. And I always have a hard time transporting my food to work all the time. Like, I don't know what to bring. Like, I don't want to bring cereal because I have to bring milk. Just a hassle, you know. So it, I always try to find things that I could that are small that I can just carry along with me. So I got these Fiber One brownie mix, and you just add water, vegetable oil, and two eggs to this. And for one muffin, um, it's 130 calories. No, 160 calories. Um, 2.5 grams of fat, five and five grams of fiber. So this is good even like for a snack or for breakfast along with like something else, like a piece of fruit or something. And then I got, lastly I got this Tazo Iced Passion Tea. Um, again I got this because I've been lately really liking having a cold drink in the afternoon, like a can of Diet Pop. So I thought if I just had the tea it would be a lot better for me. And it's caffeine free, so same thing at night. I've been having such a problem at night where I just want to like gorge myself. Like I'll be watching Pretty Little Liars and I'm just like, oh my god, like I just want to sit here with a giant bowl of food and just stuff my face. So I'm thinking if I can make something like this at night and have this like as a snack it'll with like one of these or something, it'll be a lot healthier than eating like a bowl of chips. Um, so that's my grocery store haul. Let me know what you think um, or if there's products that you really like that you think I would like or if you're from Canada and you go over the states, what products you love buying. Thanks you guys so much. Thanks you guys. That makes sense, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think I need to take a nap. Thanks so much for watching, you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!